Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today on the channel we are kicking off our Series 10 content. Now it is a little bit premature, we have got three weeks until the rules officially update on the ranked ladder, but why not start content on the channel now? We're predominantly going to be on showdown a lot of the time, but we will be jumping in on the Switch and doing the free ranked ladder over there. Hopefully we'll find some games and we'll be playing there is a bunch of tournaments being organized at the minute so we'll be playing some of those so some of the content some of the teams will be featuring on those the poker pastes and the rental codes will be uploaded starting monday we'll start all of that juicy content and i am aware that we haven't really had much content this week on the channel hence the reason for me wanting to put something up today i've literally been in my spare time this week trying to figure out series 10 get my head around it see what's being played and try and formulate some good ideas going forward so i've got a good grounding to kind of provide content for you guys uh, going forward from next week. So that'll all kick off on Monday. Looking forward to it. But here we are today. I put a poll up earlier in the week and a big shout out to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for uh, clicking on the poll, coming, interacting with it and choosing an answer here because we got, uh, I put the, the 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 feelers out to see if you want to see Series 9 or Series 10. Now there is a few of you that want Series 9 content kind of going forward, but the majority of people, we had 805 volts. That's amazing. And so, like I say, massive shout out to everyone and uh, hence the reason why I'm putting this video up today just to say that we'll be continuing on with Series 10 as we go forward. We might drop in some Series 9 if there is relevant stuff, but going forward, Series 10 and I am loving the format so far. So today we're kicking off with uh, this team. Volcarona is one of the, the Pokemon that I, I've absolutely loved playing uh, in Series 10 so far. Uh, it's been amazing with the grassy seed as well, just boosting that defense. We've got quite a bulky one here, but you can still take advantage of the Quiver Dance. So the spread basically allows you maximum bulk. Uh, the speed stat allows you to get the jump on Zashin after a plus one, which is nice. Um, and then a combination of Heat Wave and Giga Drain give you quite nice options, especially with the grassy terrain to hit opposing threats. Uh, then we're moving on, obviously we need uh, grassy terrain if we've got the grassy seed with the Rillaboom uh, this is pretty standardish Rillaboom but pretty bulky at the same time can still hit hard with that miracle seed uh, protect U-turn grassy glide fake out I found that protect is pretty pretty important on it for certain situations just for being able to kind of maneuver board positions and get yourself into a winning spot then we move on to Zashian now this is a little bit of a weird Zashian spread you can take a water spot from a Kyogre now this I don't know if it's optimal or not it's been playing pretty well it's something I'm testing. It's early stage of the format and why not test out some crazy ideas? Uh, but it has been playing pretty well for myself so far. I'm not sold on it 100%, but it's something that I've been playing around with. The extra bulk gives you a lot of benefits, especially when you get the substitute up. You've got double fake out to kind of support that, um, especially against things like Regieleki that can't break the sub if they're not holding something like Magnet or Life Orb, which is really nice. Um, so that's on that side, you've got Mindchow, who is another Pokemon, a bit like Volcarona, like shot up the usage stats for a few reasons. Got that inner focus ability, cannot be intimidated, uh, takes care of Incineroar pretty well, can knock out with close combat unless they're like max bulk in defense. Um, can't be faked out either, can get, get the jump on the fake out on things like Gothitelle, Incineroar, Rillaboom, which are super popular at the minute, um, and got some nice coverage moves, especially that one in wide guard. A lot of the big threats in this format are firing out uh, spread attacks, so that is really useful. Rock Slide there is necessary, I feel, for things like Volcarona, because otherwise you're going to be really stuck for being able to kind of damage it. Four times weak to rock, so you're going to need some sort of way to, to get around that. Focus Sash is quite uh, standard on it, going to be the probably the most used item on it to be honest and um, it does take away from other pokemon like urshifu that normally do like to rely on that which is just a little bit of conflict within in this team um but all in all very very strong pokemon and very good option in the format at the minute so keep an eye on that one uh, and then we move on to another bit of a weird weird build um but one i again uh why not try things out in the early format uh, I couldn't have the Focus Sash on it, um, and I did think, and I've thought for a long time, a Soul Vest Regieleki could could potentially work. It outspeeds Shadow Rider Calyrex with this speed investment. Modest just gives us a little bit more power. Uh, can take a Water Spot from Kyogre uh, straight up, and does all the nice things that you would 
you need Reggie Alecki to do. And then we're moving on to Urshifu Rapid Strike. It completes that Firewater Grass Core with the Rillaboom and the Volcarona. Um, standard spread here. Uh, Impish Nature for some reason. I don't know why. That's wrong. It should be Jolly. Uh, max Speed. Uh, max Attack. And because we can't really utilize the um, the Focus Sash, I didn't really feel comfortable with the band in this specific build. We don't have Tailwind or any real dedicated speed control to allow it to kind of function well. I felt like Lumberry made sense. There's a lot of Volcarona going around trying to catch you out with that flame body ability that it has there to catch the burn, especially if you're hitting it three times with searching strikes. The Lumberry kind of alleviates that. You've got to watch out Volcarona though with that Giga Drain as well. So Urshifu, uh can find it difficult you're going to need some sort of support alongside it to get it going but the lumberry felt like a decent option uh overall so what we're going to do friends the poker paste is down below as always i know this has been a big long intro but it's good sometimes just to explain the team a little bit and then we'll jump in uh have a few battles talk about the format and uh, like i say this is just an episode to kind of get the base uh, of series 10 kind of going um so yeah you're going to see some popular cores at the minute obviously Shadow Rider Calyrex, one of those big, big Pokemon that's going to be a, a huge problem, especially paired with Lele. Uh, normally, Holden Specs is kind of been the more predominant item that I've seen on it uh, at the minute. Obviously, Tailwind um, and Reggie Alecki and Entai is definitely a Pokemon alongside Volcarona that I think is an incredible Pokemon in this format. So, Tailwind going to be a bit of an issue. I think we'll leave Mind Shower because it gives us the wide guard support and fake out if we would like to utilize it. Um, I think Zashin's not bad. His lead put Rillaboom in the back behind it. And I think, I think, I think, hmm, maybe Yaleki just for some speed control later on because we want to catch that, that, uh, the Color X. And with the Assault Vest, it gives us a little bit more, uh, a, a few more options. Um, okay, we can stop the Tailwind if we want, or we can set up a Substitute. Uh, we can't fake out the Entai, which is a problem. Um, we could fake out the Whimsicott, prevent the uh, the Tailwind coming up and just switch straight into Aleki, but we're not in the best place to do that. We could also Rock Slide, or just go for a close combat into the Entai and... Uh, no, let's fake out and let's Behemoth Blade. If we get burnt, then that's fine. We'll get rid of the Wimmy and that Tailwind support. We won't. We won't. The eject button is there on the Wimmy. We're going to take a Sacred Fire, but I'm pretty confident we may be able to take this, you know? Oh, it misses. I don't know. I don't know if we take it or not. Probably not. I'd probably not. I'm probably over exaggerating. That's a bit unfortunate for my opponent because we lose Ashen in that in that scenario there. So the psychic terrain up. Not the best of starts. But this is showdown. It's a showdown, isn't it? It's a bit more fast paced, even though I feel like I'm dragging it out a lot. Um no tailwind up just yet. We've got the wide guard. Are they gonna kind of suspect to go for that? Uh, I mean, one of the things we could do is just wide guard and bring in Reggie Alecki. Um, we will be able to take the Sacred Fire um, from that side. I wonder if they target down the Mind Shell. No, they go that way. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't think they keep the Calyrex in on the field, to be honest. I think we could probably double in on Entai and just Vault Switch. Cross Combat, yeah. Uh, we don't really have the switches. This is where Urshifu would have been better, but at least getting rid of the terrains at plus. Get that close combat off. Near enough KO there, which is nice. Mind share the target this time. Do we get the burn? No burn. No burn. Okay. Well, Entai. We can probably grassy glide there um, and switch into Zashin. Um, yeah. Let's just do that. Ooh, going for that cheeky old extreme speed. Well, that's all right. I mean, we got the mind share on the back, so it kind of helps us out. Ooh, and they're not even going for um, the tailwind. I guess they don't really necessarily need it, you know. Just making sure that they get get the mind share in any situation. Just gonna. Oh, this could be iffy. This could be iffy. I think we lose Rillaboom here. Yeah, Zashian hangs on, which is good. 
which is nice. We'll get rid of the Wimmy and then Aleki can come in and then just Electra Web and we can just Behemoth Blade. So that's all, all good in the hood. They needed the Tailwind. If they got it up, they may have, they may have done it. And I think that Sacred Fire early on probably helped them out a bit. So Rillaboom, Incineroar, Urshifu, Landorus, Zacian, and Regieleki. So, you know, you're going to see very familiar things in the format at the minute. You're going to see the Zacian normally paired with things like Rillaboom, Incineroar for sure. More than likely, Regieleki gives that little bit of speed control. Um, and then these two slots are kind of changing a bit. You sometimes see Volcarona or Entai over the Incineroar. Urshifu uh, can be either form. Um, so I think Mindshow here, we've already mentioned how it's good against kind of getting the jump on opposing fake out mons. Um, we could go down a Volcarona route, to be honest. Volcarona is pretty good here. To be honest, we have to be careful around the, the Landorus and potentially the uh, the Urshifu there. We'll bring Rilla and we will end off with Zashian. Okay. So, I think we fake out the Reggie Aleki and just Quiver Dance. They've got no way to knock anything out here um, with their Zashian. They are plus one, but I'm not too worried about that. They protect. Um, the problem is obviously that with the Regieleki, we're not going to be able to um, outspeed Regieleki after a plus one. That's just impossible. We can wide guard and we can just go for a heat wave. We could get greedy and go for another quiver dance here as well. That's always an option, but it's probably good just to start piling the pressure on where we can with, with Volcarona and get yourself set up. It's very familiar, this this pairing as well. It's um, Back in the day, it was always uh, Top Moth, which was Hitmontop and Volcarona. Uh, acted and had very similar interactions um, to how Mindshow and Volcarona act. Um, obviously, I think Hitmontop's still very good in this format uh, now because it gets access again to, to Wide God. We missed the Zashian, that's no good. We don't like missing the Zashian. It gets a Sacred Sword, but I mean, look at the investment we got there. We haven't even got a, um, a Seed active yet. So you can see the defense investment that we've got, which is amazing. We'll just go for a close combat into the Incineroar. We'll just protect Volcarona this turn and we make pretty easy work. We do risk the substitute going up from Zashian, but I don't feel like it's got the room to be able to do that in front of Equivadanced uh, Volcarona. So uh, that is max HP Incineroar. So we know that the the um, we can just go close combat, heat wave, that would be enough to get everything if we actually manage to hit, which we don't again. So this Volcarona is blind. Blind, I tell you. Uh, but we do get a critical hit, which makes up for a little bit, I guess, um, against the Zashian. And then the boom coming in, boom, boom shake the room uh what we're gonna do what we're gonna do what we're gonna do where are they gonna fake out we'll go for the rillaboom we'll protect here um and then we can just fake out heat wave and that should be that should be game they can't sub at this point so we're not worried from the zashian's point of view uh yeah they may double up into rillaboom but even if they do here uh, boom takes it so I'm pleased with getting these like little survival, which is nice because it does show that the EV spreads that I've got in the team at the moment are kind of working pretty well. We do see the boom go for, uh, okay, well, I'm gonna just do this, are they? I mean, a grassy glide, we just grassy glide here um, into the Zashian, that should be enough and just protect the Volcarona. And we're kind of drawing it out a little bit. We still got our Zashian in the back, you know, so, we're kind of all right. Bye-bye, Zashun. And let's go U-turn and switch. Oh, no, they're going to forfeit. Okay, so Ludicolo is another interesting Pokemon. And this is the reason for Series 10. We've got like a new lease of life for so many of these Pokemon that have been forgotten about because of the Dynamax mechanic. It's it's honestly, it's so refreshing to kind of come in and play these formats once again. Okay, Ludi and Kyogre. So I don't want to leave with Rillaboom. I think I want to be able to change the terrain if we do see that. Uh, I think... Reggie Alecki and Mian Shell. Here's quite nice options here. Do I need Volcarona? Probably not. Probably not. Really booms Ashen. Let's go that route. Okay. So Oh, this is this is this is easy. This is easy, I tell you. Electro Web and Wide Guard. What are they gonna do? What they're gonna do? I've seen a lot more Shadow Rider Calyrex as well, running Psy Shock as well, kind of sniping and getting around the the Manchow. Um 
<laughs> because of things you know like they can't utilize expanded force astro barrage it's going to be really interesting to see what turn the uh, the format takes over the next few weeks you know and we'll probably be like if you're starting to play series 10 now as well one of the big things that i think is the format's going to be pretty well developed when the rules actually take effect on the 1st of august so it's it's a really good time to start getting involved playing and uh, i know a lot of a lot of people don't like playing on showdown they prefer cart um but i mean it's it's worth kind of just gr gritting your teeth through it uh for the next few weeks and just going with it you know uh we do see ooh, but there's that assault vest coming in handy against that scarfed kyoga that's yeah i mean that's one of the bonuses there because i mean we take that pretty well to be honest um just electro web again um I mean, we don't need to worry about wide garden here because we can just close combat. I think we get rid of the Ndidi, yeah. So there's the Electro Web again into the Zepdos, and uh, we'll go for that close combat. And uh, that part normal type and Ndidi definitely helps out against stuff like my Mian Shao. Um, what we see from the Zapdos? What are we going to see from the Zapdos? We could, I mean, we can preserve. We can preserve Regieleki. I mean, for a little bit later on, we could potentially just go for a close combat into the Kyogre. We'll be able to get it off before the Zapdos attacks. Um, they go the Origin Pulse route. They do miss uh, the Boom, which is nice. Uh, but we do get that close combat and take down the Kyogre. All the same, and a Hurricane coming out. Okay, from the Zapdos. Uh, what are they going to have left? Ludi? Ludi? <sighs> yeah, let's see. Regieleki might be the better play. Oh, it's Incineroar. Okay, well, still the better call overall. Um, let's fake out and let's go for... I guess we just want damage on too. Like, we're not worried about the Incineroar, especially with the rain up, you know? Uh, we just want damage onto the Zapdos. And I don't feel like the Zapdos is going to be in a position to actually take down the Regieleki, to be honest. Uh, we can bring in Zash in now, can double up into uh, the Incineroar. And it's a pretty bulky Zapdos as well at the same time. So it's not going to have the damage output that you would normally see on something. I hate these text boxes popping up uh, that we'd normally see um, Zapdos in like see the, the earlier series uh have an access to and we can just yeah so that's another nice win basically this episode just an introduction to series 10 have a look at some teams give you guys a paste of a team that you can take on the ladder get started with straight away as i said we'll be down in the description below and uh, have a look at some of the teams that are being played at the minute kind of mid to near the topish ladder because i think the ladder at the minute yeah you're looking at 1400 is top of the ladder because it's literally just got updated so there's plenty of scope to kind of fly up near that top of the ladder without very much effort um okay wimmy dracovish another one that's paired a lot with this shadow shadow rider calorex and uh tabulele moltres moltres good i think in this format although difficult to say you know um okay what we're we gonna do we're gonna go with mm, Reggie Alecki, Mingxiu, Rilla, Rilla, Rilla. We need it for the terrain and Zashin. Zashin, yeah. Okay. So we can stop the Whimsicott attacking. We can stop that. And we can get an Electro Web off, which is always useful. The Wimmy's likely to just. Um, the Wimmy's likely just to protect it anyway. It's so whether or not we want to kind of. I think we Electro Web, yeah. We can stop at this turn, we can't stop at the next turn, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, we get some decent damage onto the Wimmy. Um, they have to Tailwind now. So we switch into Rillaboom. We go for a, a close combat into the fish. Yeah, we take that pretty well, get the close combat. Should put them in Grassy Glide range, which is nice. Um, and then we can switch, I think, probably better off switching in Zash in for a mind shell there's the protect Ooh, double protect don't mind seeing that is a Dracovish gonna be able to take this grassy glide I don't know I don't feel like it is gonna be able to to be honest I think we just grassy glide and we just go for the behemoth behemoth blood Okay, there's Incineroar. They'll be able to take this now, but it will be reduced damage, of course. Uh, we are able to take that. Behemoth Blade not doing the greatest damage. Um, 
that makes it a little bit more tricky for us, of course. But we can protect this next turn, protect on the fake out. Uh, or do we do we do we protect on the fake out, or do we get in showing? Because then we got the clear route to, yeah, we preserve Zashin. We have an active fake out this next turn. This makes it a little bit more tricky, of course, because they're going to try and get the tailwind up again. But we can go for a U-turn and fake out here. Let's say protect, of course. But I think they'll try and get... Oh, no, they go for that. They go for that. Okay. Um, a weakened wide guard. I think we still U-turn. Because I think the Calyrex is going to be locked into Astro Barrage or expanding force unless they do have the single target attack which it potentially could okay yeah expanding force obviously without the terrain it is that single target so you do have that option there um Alecky's our only choice uh i think we i think we electro web and we get zash in on the field because i think the boom's going to be a bit more useful for us with that priority grassy glide later in this game Expanding force into the Aleki, yeah, that's fine. Um, the Wimmy's probably in extreme speed range now. It, it may not be, but it will grant us the ability to kind of get Reggie Aleki off the field and get something like Rillaboom onto the field, which is now going to be able to pick up the knockout onto the Calyrex with, with a Grassy Glide. Uh, minus one, we do have to watch out for, of course. Um, because I think Incineroar comes in here, like in all honesty, I really do. I do see Incineroar kind of coming in there. Um, so we could Grassy Glide, hope that we can still pick up the knockout onto it on minus one, which I'm hoping, I think we will, and then go for the Sacred Sword. So yeah, we've got to just hope that this gets it. Okay, well they don't even go for it, but we'll get some decent damage onto the Incineroar at the same time. We're going for that Protect. So the Tailwind kind of stolen out as well. Uh, potentially what we could do now is switch into, like, Preserve Rillaboom, switch into Mancha, Protect, and then we got the Wide Guard, the next, uh, yeah, this is actually better because then we, we get the ability to stop the Tailwind again, which is always useful because they're minus one speed, which is helpful. Uh, so taking us down to our Sash, now we can fake out the Wimmy, then go for the Behemoth Blade into the Calyrex. The fake out should take down the Whimsicott. Yep, this should take down the Calyrex, and this wraps up the game. Pretty, pretty tight margins, but you know we're able to kind of close it up. It's been an enjoyable episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Hope it's not been too much waffle for you today. It's been nice to kind of touch base at least with Series Ten and provide it some sort of rental. Uh, poker paste for you guys to kind of jump in and get started leave a comment down below let me know how you find the series 10 already and what kind of teams you'd like to see kick off with next week whether it be a Kyogre or a Serena team or anything like that or a Shadow Rider Calyrex uh, or a Groudon. I've got a good Groudon team that I'm working on, so that might be an option as well. But I'm going to leave it there. Have a great weekend, whatever you're up to. Let's all get behind England for Sunday. I'm so excited for that. And uh, keep an eye out for some cheeky uh, tweets on Sunday night after the match. <laughs> and I will see you all later, friends. So take care of yourselves and bye-bye.